Welcome to The Walking Dead. Now, I have played through this before, I will be honest. I have beaten it. But I want to play it again, and this time, we're going to play it differently. Because when I originally played it, I played it kind of what I would actually do in that situation. But this time, I think it would be entertaining to play as a complete asshole from front to back. So let's do it. I think that'd be entertaining. I, I'm anxious to see how the other characters react. Yes, yes. Now, this is these are obviously not going to be my first reaction, so if you're looking for that, I apologize. And I will try not to say spoilers of later game episodes if this is the first time you're watching. That sounds very loud. New day. I may have to turn this down because it sounds very loud. Hold up. Hold up. Can't be having it. I already took it down to three. Down to one. Let's do it. Alright. Much better. That's me. I love Walking Dead, so. I don't mind playing through this again. Okay. Gonna have to keep in mind that I'm trying to be an asshole as well because. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Let's see. Uh, this seems like an asshole thing to say. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. That's yeah, right. Something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Well, uh, Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. I did do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already <laughs> said it enough. That's right, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh. Duh. <laughs> what now? I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. So you've got an opinion. You got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. That I wasn't as asshole sounding as I thought it would be. Thing, even considering who they say you killed. I killed everyone. I like how this guy doesn't even care that all these things are happening. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You're not sounding very assholey. Maybe s silence. You want to know how I see it? Not really. Not really. Too bad. My huh. car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Shut up, old man. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh man, here he comes. Say it. <sighs> what the heck? Man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on. Well, if you know what's coming, do. you know I ain't gonna say nothing. An older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. <sighs> Can I borrow that shotgun? Blow my brains out. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's <sighs> government property, and I'll be forced to vap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. <laughs> mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man, I'm gonna go silent route on this one. Well, blabbermouth, <laughs> let me tell you something. They uh, caught the fucker what a jerk. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. <laughs> it goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. 
I ain't gonna say nothing. Depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Nope. This other time. <laughs> oh. That wasn't no bumper cars. <laughs> Come on, wake up. I ain't got time for this. I wonder why the zombies don't eat you when you're asleep. Look. Well, oh, skipping the game there. Is this all the old guy dying? Let's find out. Oh, shit. Get up. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. Oh, hello. Good looking. Hey, hey, officer. Eh. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. He's dead. Let's just kick this window out. Kick it. Kick it. Now, climb your ass out of it. All right. Come on, get up. Can I put a few more shots in that guy? Make sure he's dead. Oof. Let's walk along the car, Gimpy. Come on. Now, I don't think picking up this shell does any good. So I'm just gonna rush over to this guy. Are you alright, mister? Give me those keys. Shit. Oh. Now, I guess if you don't know what's going on, this wouldn't really matter, but if this is a zombie apocalypse. I would not be reaching my hands down there. Unlock it. About to see the most cliche horror movie trick ever right now. Here we go. Oh boy. You fell over. Now back up. Alright. Get away from me. Get that. Grab it. Grab the gun. And he drops the damn bullet. Pick it up, you incompetent guy. Don't make me do this. Peace. Oh, I'm a little lag there. Ugh. You did that awfully easily, Mr. Not a Killer Guy. Didn't have the best hygiene, alright? Can I get up now? Oh, hello. Who are you? Go get now when it comes to Clementine, I'm not always going to be a complete asshole. I'm going to take it as I'm just going to harden her up as much as I can for the zombie apocalypse. Because I believe that's effective. Seems like the asshole thing to do. Get up and run. This guy would die so fast in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, what is happening? Why? Why is it jumping around? I think it happened this first playthrough too. So. Oh. 
Alright, now that that's over, hopefully it stops. Where were all these zombies at before? Um. Dump it. Alright. Now that we're in this safe backyard, in a fence that apparently zombies can't push over, or... <laughs> Somebody's having a hard time over there. A wagon. Hello? Anybody? Let's walk up to the old house. Oh, oh. Open it up. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Just open the door. Coming in. Don't shoot. Don't okay? shoot. <laughs> in a bad part of town or something? Ah. Hello. I'm not an intruder. <laughs> Technically you are. One of them. You just broke into this house. Let's check out this machine right here. Three new messages. Message one left at five. Oh god. Don't no. Hey Santa, <laughs> this is Diana. We're what a dummy. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the some yard crazy and have guy. it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra ah. day. So much for looking oh, after Clementine, talking. and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at eleven nineteen. Anything else in here? Oh my God! Finally, I don't know it's if like you tried crackers. to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. Knives and forks. They're not letting us leave, and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave Give the me that city cup. and take Clementine with you back to me. Mm. I've, I've got to get back to the Tasty. hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three left at six fifty one AM. Clementine, baby. Oh. If you can hear this, call the police. It's nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh. Remember what those people look like, just for future reference. The hell? Hello? You need to be quiet. <laughs> well, fine then. Um, who, who is, is this? this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. Nope. No, I'm not. Let's go with silence. Hello? Did they get you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm here. <laughs> well, I guess I can't do that. Um, where are, where your, parents? are your parents? Dead. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're oh, in Savannah. Maybe I think. not. Where the boats are? Where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through Hello. the window. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She ugly. Eat it, lady. 
How many times are you gonna slip on some blood? Come on, kick it. Oof. Kick you in the face. She has a hammer. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, oh, oh. Give me that hammer. Best oh. face in Ugh, I think it's dead. Ugh. Just like Play Doh. Man. Hi there. Thanks for the hammer. Don't step in the blood. Yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. <laughs> I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I didn't ask. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um, last time I picked the daytime. So let's look for help. No. Let's do that. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. <laughs> My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. <laughs> 